Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Richie here, where we talk about my favorite thing in the entire world, cryptocurrency. That's right. Today, we are talking about a very much, much hyped, quite controversial new ZK Bitcoin, um, which is bla trailblazing the way forward to attempt to make Bitcoin the ultimate DeFi product, right? Um, not Ethereum. So it's quite interesting. And of course, uh, following the recent narrative, we are trying to airdrop hunt this by using the test net, which is completely free. So to do this is free. You just need time. Time is a commodity, of course. So, you know, give yourself enough time. And we are going to look into it. But at the same time, the token's already out. Um, so I missed a dip, which I was trying to catch yesterday on this. And now I'm going to show you at the end of this video how you can make sure you never miss a dip again, basically. Um, so what do I mean by that? Let's just come to deck screener. So this is Satoshi VM. Uh, I've been watching this chart. Um, pretty controversial. We're going to talk about the controversy at the end of the video because I don't want to start something on negativity. There's no point in that, right? But we did see a massive launch. Uh, dip down to $7, and back up to all time high, and then another dip down to $7, and now back up to $10, right? I wanted to buy this between $6 and $8. It's been there twice and I've missed it both times because it seems to dip when I'm sleeping, <laughs> essentially, right? There are lots of rumors circulating on Twitter and across the crypto space that Satoshi VM will do uh, airdrop of SAVM. That's the token. It's got ticker SAVM. So far, they've recently launched their testnet about one week ago. The faucet and the bridge is live and now you can swap and add liquidity there as well on the testnet for free and why not, right? Um, so we're pretty early, one week in, right? And it's pretty good to position yourself early for any crypto project. And if it's free, then why not just do it, right? You never know what will happen. So the order of business for today is we're firstly going to set up Satoshi VM testnet on our MetaMask. Then we're going to set it up on a Unisat wallet. You're going to need two wallets. MetaMask is for the Ethereum chain. Unisat is for the BRC20 chain, Bitcoin chain, right? If you haven't heard about BRC20, where have you been? Um, it's going to be even bigger this year than last year. So, you know, probably get caught up on it, okay? We're actually airdrop hunting three different BRC20 airdrops. Um, in the club. More on that later. We're going to fund our Unisat wallet with test Bitcoin for free. We're going to bridge the testnet no tokens over to Satoshi VM testnet on the MetaMask ERC20, right? Then we're going to bridge some more test Bitcoin. Then we're going to trade it. We're going to build liquidity. We might even make a contract. We're going to accumulate some test ETH as well so that we can use that as well. Um, that's pretty much so far what we're going to do, okay? Of note, there are Currently, no SAVM airdrops happening from the team. You're going to see a lot of FUD and a lot of scams on Twitter. Just ignore all of it and just go to the main account. Go to their Discord and check everything there, please. Don't get scammed. Don't think that someone impersonating them could be this really easily done and they're just going to drain your wallet. So please be careful with that. If you have any questions about it, just get into our Telegram. Ask me about it. I'll give you my honest opinion if I think it's true or not. And I'm pretty hooked into these things, been doing it for five years, know exactly what's up, so, you know. So the great thing about uh, crypto is very quickly these quests open up and this one basically explains you how to do everything on Satoshi VM by click by click. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today as well. So there's two ways you can approach this. You can come straight to the Intract. If it's still running, then you can run through this and you're gonna basically set yourself up on test Bitcoin, but you're not gonna have any test ETH, right? So that's very important. To get the test ETH, you're gonna to have to follow along with me. We're gonna go from the top to the bottom, from adding your MetaMask to then adding your uh, Bitcoin wallet, uh, Unisat wallet, right? And then getting the test Bitcoin, getting the test ETH, bridging them into the SAVM and then uh, trading and pooling liquidity and making contracts and making tokens, these kind of things to interact with the test net. So you can do it here, but we're just going to follow my sheet because I made it and I know exactly what's going on, right? So we'll come here. It says, um, first, get yourself the Unisat wallet. This is this wallet here. You'll get the wallet, then you want to move it onto test net. To get onto test net, once you've downloaded the wallet, you get your private keys, you take your private keys, you put the, the key phrase in the book, right? or wherever you're gonna put it, don't just take screenshot, please, not safe. Uh, come to the cog here, click on network, and then you'll be able to move to testnet, right? Then at the same time, you come back to this, you wanna add your wallet, you wanna add the MetaMask for Satoshi VM. So I've already added it, I'm just gonna put in Satoshi, and there we have Satoshi VM testnet, right? Um, it doesn't have any Bitcoin in it, oh my God, what are we gonna do? Well, we're gonna get some. 
So we add the network. You can also just click on this link. It will bring you to the bridge, right? This is the important bridge, bridging from Bitcoin testnet to Satoshi VM testnet, okay? Because you need to get that Bitcoin. So the bridge is going to push you to join two wallets. You're going to join your MetaMask for um, getting your test Ethereum and you're going to get your Unisat wallet for getting your test Bitcoin, right? So both are up and running here, I've connected them. When you click on uh, connect this, it will prompt you to join with that. If you don't get a prompt for it, then you can also just come to Satoshi VM here. Ooh, my God, what's happening there? The site's getting a 524. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I guess it's not a 420, so we're good there. Um, but come to their website, satoshivm.io, which I got from their Twitter official links, right? Um, and then you don't have a blue tick, man. What's going on? That's ridiculous. Um, but then you're going to be able to find the right RPC URL, right? Anyways, so now we need um, Satoshi. Uh, we need Bitcoin, right? Test Bitcoin. And we need test uh, Ethereum, right? I think it's Sepolia Ethereum, right? So for getting test Bitcoin, there are two sites. Come back to the sheet. We have get test BTC. I have coin faucet and supply uh, wallet for test tokens. If this doesn't work, you can also try Bitcoin faucet. So, and we try here, um, and then it says, I can get 0 0.0002 um, Bitcoin. So, okay, find the motorcycle, find the bicycle. Oh, is it gonna do this? Sometimes it does this to me, man. And I'm just sitting here for hours, just finding motorcycles. I'm the best at finding motorcycles Whoa! in the world. You wouldn't believe. Um, how many more cycles I've found before. Did it work? Send. Transaction of coins has been sent and has been placed in the sending queue. Don't forget to send the test coin, test net tokens back when you're done with them. Luckily for you, I already loaded up a little bit of test net BTC for the point of today's video. Yes, because I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. Anyway, moving on. We then need, because Bitcoin is fucking slow, by the way. <laughs> uh, then we need to get Sepolia ETH. Sepolia ETH is also free. It's a test net ETH. We want to come back to the bridge. Then the link is at the bottom of the page. Easy as pie. We come here and we see here, get Savum Faucet, right? Uh, it's going to take us to Sepolia, right? Switch to Sepolia. Then it's just going to ask us, do we want some Sepolia ETH? Yes, I do, please. Let me just put some uh, passwords here into the old ledger. Ooh, okay, the plot thickens. If you don't have any Sepolia ETH, you're going to need Sepolia ETH to mint Sepolia ETH. So the sepoliafaucet.com is one I've used before. I'll probably add this to the, the link now, right? So I'll come there. I will come to my MetaMask ERC20, right? We're getting ETH, not Bitcoins anymore. Free test ETH was worth nothing. Come here. I say I'm not a robot. And we now find some more motorcycles. Don't worry. Whoa! I'm a professional motorcycle and traffic light finder. You you should see me on when I'm on the go. It's unbelievable. Send me the ETH, please. Okay. It must have done it. Look at that. Amazing. Okay. That will arrive. Hopefully fast because it's ETH. Come on. Yeah, look at that. ETH, fast. You know, I wish Bitcoin was as fast as ETH. This is exactly what Satoshi VM are attempting to do, right? Because <laughs> the Bitcoin I got this morning is still not arrived, right? Um, come back here, test Savon Faucet, right? So we want to come here, confirm request in your wallet. Okay, so it says, congratulations, you will now receive 0 0.21 test Savon tokens. So we can add the test Savon token to your wallet by clicking here, um, which I do advise because then you'll be able to find it, right? Uh, so add token. Okay, so that will soon arrive, I'm sure. Okay, just to make that easier, I've just put in the get test PTC, get Sepolia ETH, because I was, and then we get test SASM by coming back to the bridge <clears throat> and clicking down at this bottom part here. So we need three tokens, right? We need test Bitcoin, we got that test Sepolia ETH to run the transaction to get the test SASM, right? So we have it all. Next point, let's go. Um, bridge your test token. So come back to the bridge again. Finally, bridge both tokens over to the Satoshi VM testnet. So this is going to bridge everything over to your MetaMask on the Satoshi VM because at the moment we're on Sepolia and we're on the Bitcoin test network. Okay, so we come here to the bridge. 
at the top, you'll see either Bitcoin Bridge or Seven Bridge. So we want to bring Bitcoin from the testnet onto the Satoshi network. Okay, so we're going to take our um, Bitcoin that we just got there, 0 0.001 should be enough, and we're going to deposit that. This is going to confirm with your Unisat wallet, which is on the test net. Bringing this up here, yes. Then we say sign. The gas fee is going to be very low because, again, it's not real money. Um, we come back there. That's now been sent, okay? It's on the way. It's going to take ages because it's Bitcoin. Probably come back in a couple hours. Then we have this Savin bridge, right? So we need to take our Ethereum from Sepolia and send it over to the testnet. So we're going to take 0 0.217, deposit that over too. Boom, off it goes, right? This will all arrive on your MetaMask on Satoshi VM testnet, which we already set up before. And that's us done there. So now, while that's all sending over, we then come back to our MetaMask. We want to come over to Satoshi um, VM testnet and everything is going to arrive here. Now, unfortunately for the, the use case of this video, we're not going to sit here and wait like four hours for the test Bitcoin to arrive. I can't be bothered. But I've already set up another wallet which has the tokens already running. So we're going to be able to check that out. Um, so let me just change the wallet. And that's why you should like and subscribe to this channel, you know. I put the work in, I prepared for this video, you know. I even did my hair. <laughs> okay, on this account, you can see I have 0 0.0031 test Bitcoin. We also will have other tokens because now we're going to come back to the farm and we're going to go to bridge test tokens. Now we come to Savam Swap, okay, Satoshi VM Swap. Um, click there and let's get over to that. Okay, this is getting exciting now, right? And this will be going beyond the realm of the Intrac quest. This has already ended with just swapping your test Bitcoin. They haven't even swapped the test ETH over. They haven't done any of that stuff, right? They are just stopping there. So this is taking you now further down the rabbit hole than the quest. And um, probably the quest later, another quest will pop up and they'll ask you to do exactly what we're going to do here, which is now using their swap function. This is on the Satoshi VM testnet. We then bring up that we have Bitcoin. We have Mischief Coin. How the fuck did Mischief Coin get on Bitcoin Satoshi VM testnet? Well, that's because I put it there, right? And we also have Savam, right? This should load up pretty quickly, but of course it's Bitcoin network and it's Savam network. So it's hella slow. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's slow on Bitcoin. You can see here, I have Bitcoin. Now, all you want to do here is you want to engage with the contract as much as possible, right? So, for example, I can take 0 0.001 and then I can use that and I can buy some Savum. Why not, right? Then I'll swap. We're just going to swap back and forth. That's it. Back and forth, back and forth. Do you want to do it on multiple wallets? Probably. Um, that's why I've just set up a second one. What is the point of this? Because the rumor is that eventually when Satoshi VM gets over their kind of weird and stressful launch phase, I guess, they're going to start pushing for um, people to be trying that to test that on mass. And the only way to entice that is by promising people, testers, that they're going to get themselves some tokens for doing that. So that's the way it works. Unfortunately, the test net looks to be completely clogged. <laughs> oh, here we go. We're up. We're up. Um, so it's going to come through here. Then I'm just going to push through this transaction, right? And that's it. We've gone through. Um, other things you can do, then you can also come to pool, right? Why not? Start farming some liquidity in this. The more interactions, the more volume you run in the test net, the more likely that you're going to be able to get yourself more Savum token if they airdrop, right? Um, so we can add liquidity. So I could take some Bitcoin and some mischief coin. Why not? And we make some mischief Bitcoin uh, liquidity, right? So 0 0.0001 is four mischief coins. Okay, and we do that. And we confirm supply with your own token. Why not? You know, I would suggest every day coming to this, swapping one token back and forth and doing some kind of liquidity messing around as well. Okay, just so that you're continually keeping up with uh, the transactions, making sure that things are going through, going up and down, this kind of stuff. Okay. Um, so the last thing you want to check out then on how to interact, how to grow your um, grow your volume and you know your footprint on this network is for sure to drop your own contract, which is something I figured out how to do. So deploying a contract these days is very easy. You don't need to know any code. You just need to know how to push buttons and read English. 
So if you got that down, let's go over to third web where we can do this. Um, I'll give you a little hint. For example, there are so many test nets and main nets um, and a lot of them don't have governance tokens out or they're trying to bait, and bait us with governance tokens. So you can use third web and you can also use remix, but it's more advanced. You need code skill for that to drop contracts all over these test nets and make it seem as though you are a shit hot developer producing lots of code, right? <laughs> Essentially, right? Um, so what I did was the first one I've done is I come to token, click on token, right? Then we want to go to deploy now. Then we want to come up with a name for our token. Let's call it mischief with hat, <laughs> right? MWT. Then we say tester for seven. We need a picture. This is more for reference. It won't come up on your coin ticker or anything. So we'll just take a picture. How about this lovely picture of Shime alcohol? Nice, nice beer. We go to get default. Then simply you just have to press deploy. Um, it's going to cost you a little bit of your test uh, tokens, but it's free, right? Free footprint on these test nets. And boom, there it is. Mr. Food Hat. The last thing you want to do is you want to come and you want to mint some tokens. So you come down to tokens on the right hand side, come here, mint, right? And then just mint as many as you want. One okay mint those tokens out they will then fall into the test net there'll be no liquidity so then if you want to play around with this just to you know have some fun and learn about tokens you can then do that um so we've confirmed that there uh to do that to know what's going on there you would come and you need the contract address you copy the contract address there come back to the um decks and that's when you can come and you can add um, mischief with hat. See, added it there. We've added it. Um, you want to trade it, you're not going to be able to because there's no liquidity at all for the token. You know, if you want to try and buy some, it's going to say no liquidity, right? So then if you want to trade the token back and forth, you're going to have to add some liquidity to the token like this. And then you can choose, I think, like the value of your new token is worth one. Then approve and supply. That's you set the price of your token and you've supplied liquidity to the pool and you've increased your footprint one more time. Is this all useful or is it a waste of time? That's the big question. Is Satoshi VM actually going to um, send tokens to testers? And at the same time, is the token going to do well in price performance? There's a lot of controversy about the, the coins. So I guess just to finish today's video, I'm going to talk about the controversy and I'm also going to explain how I'm setting up those limits to try and bag the token when I think it's eventually going to dump. Because if they're just playing around in a test net right now and the token is just floating um, as you know without any utility, why should it remain at such a high price? The market cap is only $77 million, right? So it is a low market cap coin. Um, to be honest, it's not anywhere near the sizes of these other test tokens and like tokens with test nets that we've seen. Okay, now the, the controversy comes from uh, let's just describe it here. Uh, here's my uh, Pandu, by the way, he's doing well, he's a level 10, he's got three hearts, he is currently farming and also fighting at the same time. Look at him go, he's just kicking ass. He's been kicking ass for like two weeks now. Oh, I got some chicken, great. You want to play this game? It's free to start. Uh, link in the description, of course, for uh, for B B Pet, um, X Pet. Sorry, X Pet. It's pretty good. So this is Bubble Maps, and the controversy from Sadam started with the launch of their IDO on Bubble, and the subsequent dumping of the token by those dirty influencers. This launched and went absolutely parabolic, right, all the way up to from like one penny to fourteen dollars, right? Or five fifty pennies or whatever to fourteen dollars. It was insane. Money was made. Money was made by many people, and many people who were influencers, these guys, these guys, right, got lots of the token because they went on a massive shield campaign. They just didn't stop. They just kept going, right? So it says Savin was one of the biggest launches of 2024. However, millions have been made by influencers dumping their bags of Satoshi VM token easily tracked on chain as you can see here here are the influencers and let's have a look through this so zach xbt says remember when influencers with a lot of followers start shilling project launch at the same time it's likely because they have an allocation and will dump their cheap tokens on you and that's what we saw with seven we saw endless people just you know going for it. there's thor 
Again, Thor, man, like, God, this guy's always over these things. He actually bought his tokens back. So he sold them at $6, right? So we have here Savum rising up from like 50 cents or whatever up to $6. He's already well in the money, but like, you know, the $60, like, you know, oh, Jesus. Yeah, 29 cents launch, so like that. So it gets all the way up to $6. Thor dumps all his tokens. Yay, I'm rich. Yay, thanks guys. While everyone else is buying up on his tweets, he's dumping around about here. Um, he actually bought back all his tokens and said he needs to take a, a break from Twitter, the dirty scammer, because he... Um, <laughs> <laughs> and he, he bought them back at $12. So he, I guess he lost money on that because of his actions. But, you know, that's what happens. Uh, then we had uh, Alex Wasey, who we see often on Twitter, uh, shilling these uh, airdrops, airdrops, right? So he was also another one to push it. And he dumped his tokens. So you hear him getting the tokens and then continue 14 hours. And then 10 hours later, dumping the tokens. 200, 200, 100. Just going for it. Wasey Time ETH is his name too. So he's clearly been given lots of tokens and just dumping them. Here is a Batuhan. Uh, same thing, I guess. Greetings, everyone. I agree to the pre-sale for Savum token. This project is really important. It's amazing. He buys it. And then three hours later, <laughs> or he gets oh, he gets sent the tokens into his uh, uh, account. And then three hours later, he sells out 2,000 tokens of this thing, right? like 20 grand profit boom there you go um Mertuza, again breaking it down crypto coins geek like so all these guys are on chain seen to be just completely destroying the destroying the token value and dumping on their uh, followers right so influencers are scum we know this right um so the token distribution went 15 percent to influencers essentially for token distribution of the entire token um then if we go to bubble map you can see here uh, the wallet, uh, the deplorer, the wallet which sent these the tokens to influencers sent to 250 people. 50% of them have already been dumped on Uniswap. That's right. 50% of all the tokens sent to influencers have already been sold on Uniswap. Boom. Okay, what a payday for these guys. Good job. The pink cluster should represent the ecosystem wallets currently unlocked holding 39% of the supply. This is the supply that's not been sold yet. Okay, the two other clusters are yet to be examined, but so there's the influencer cluster, then there's the unsold cluster, and there's two other clusters sent to people who are also holding this token and probably will continue to dump. Oh, there you go. So influencers, the launch of Savum has made millionaires. While influencers performed well, the biggest winners were in fact the snipers with profits of 16 million. So the snipers made... 11 million and 5 million the team made 2 million and influencers made 7 million from all of them dumping this coin just as it all went down okay so that's that's what's going on with satoshi vm that's why you should be very careful with this chart because 50% has already been sold that means the other 50% is still sitting and be probably moved to different wallets that they continue dumping um so we saw like i said before we saw a bounce twice at eight dollars I'm thinking that this $8 is then going to form the resistance level. It should be the time to DCA in about then. So I want to set limits, right, on my trading. Now, you can set limits in different places, but for me, the best place, I think, to set a limit would probably be on Mexi because it's where it's easiest for me to trade and get the money in and out quickly, right? Um, so all we want to do then is we want to send money um, into Mexi. So I want to come here. I want to deposit some USDT um, into Mexi so I can trade on it. Okay, we're going to come to limit, right? And I want to find the price there that I want to buy it at. So for example, um, when it hits $8, that's exactly the right kind of time when I would love to buy some seven, right? So if it's $8, then we, we have 800 USDT sitting in this account, okay? So I would try and get myself at least 40 tokens, which would be about $320 worth, right? At that very low price point. So then we buy there, right? That's going to then hold it for us. Um, so we're buying... Uh, price of eight dollars we want to get 40 tokens and that's it okay so confirm so that's going to wait for us there then we think okay is it going to go down all the way down to eight dollars um i'm not sure because that's kind of the the bounce right on eight so we might not get down to eight but we could get uh, yeah probably we're lucky if we get nine right <laughs> we could get six right um where that thor Thor sold his tokens at six. So we could, you know, take a big bet and then go for six dollars and then go for another 20 tokens, spending $120 and getting half the bag that we would have bought for way less money. We come there and we buy there, right? Uh, and then finally you think, okay, it's not going to go down much at all. So we go nine and then we want to grab another bag there. So we'll go another 20 tokens here. So you can see that I'm probably assuming, um, oh, 
I'm assuming that we're going to be getting the... I'm hoping for that $8 price, but if we don't get down to it, I'm still not going to walk away with nothing and then just watch this rocket to the moon and just lose everything, right? So, so far we have a $180 bet on the token going down to $9, a $120 bet of the token down to $6, and a $320 bet on it going down to $8, right? All of these click off, then I'm going to be pretty happy holding myself uh, around about 80 tokens, right? Nothing close to what these influencers were selling out for, though. So then we think, okay, screw these guys. We're going down to $4, right? Yeah. <laughs> and down at $4, then I can scoop up that $40 uh, that I would have paid at $8, and I can get it for $160, right? So as this falls, if it does fall like a, like a knife, then by the end of it, I've managed to scoop up all these tokens. If it launches off into space, then I guess I can just take these $30 <laughs> and just buy myself three, uh, three, seven for $30. You know, we're sitting at $10 now. So like, okay, it was $10. Then I want to buy three of them. Then I'll spend myself that $30. Okay. Um, <laughs> So at least I don't I don't come away with nothing because for sure it's going to dip down to ten dollars today for sure for sure. Okay, so that is the today's video. Just to recap, what did we do? We looked at Seven Project. We looked at the chart. I explained to you why I want to grab some, but I'm a bit hesitant about the price performance of it in the long run. Okay, and the short term, I think in the long run it's going to be a really popular token. Um, clearly just because they're building on the test net, they're incentivizing people like me to start chasing it and testing it. Others will follow build their name, and then finally carrot and stick and drag it up, okay, that way, I think is what's going to happen. We looked in detail about how to get onto the test net to try and make yourself eligible for a future airdrop. We looked at the quests on um, Intract. We looked at how to set up the Unisat wallet. We learned how to add networks on Unisat wallet. We, uh, we moved to the test net on Unisat. We then added Satoshi VM to your MetaMask. We got test BTC. We got Sapoli ETH. We then got ourselves the test Savum token and we bridged it all on. Then we added liquidity and swap tokens on the test net for Savum swap. And then we deployed a token onto test uh, Savum so that we can get eligible for that. Then we looked into using MEXC to build limit orders to try and buy this token cheaper. Okay, so that's everything we did today. I'll have timestamps in the video. And if you appreciate this kind of content, again, not enough people are liking my videos. I, everyone who watches them should like them, surely. I mean, that's what my mom says. <laughs> so please put a like on the video. Um, if you enjoy content, and please, of course, subscribe to the channel. We're having a nice little run in the subscriber count of the channel. It's kind of hitting a, a nice little trend that I'm enjoying to watch and I, I really appreciate it for anyone new to the channel. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Anyone who's considering joining, I'm always going to try to give you the best content earliest as possible so everyone can win. That's the whole point of this channel. Everybody wins. That's it, right? So we're up to 25,761. Great. So can I break into 26,000? I would love to because this is now the all-time high subs for this channel which is cool. That's a really great feeling to have an all-time high. All-time high after all-time high. You know, that's what we want, isn't it? Peace. I've been Crypto Mischief. Be good to each other. And don't get wrecked.